Hey, this is Adam from Ads Productions going through some of the Google Chrome extensions that I found pretty damn good for 2016. So here we go. So you've got loads of different tabs open on Google Chrome and you think, actually, there's probably a bit too many here. Just click on the one tab icon at the top right. Then it will sync all of your tabs down to one simple one, allowing you to restore whatever ones that you think, actually, I need access to that. So that's one tab. Facebook flat is the next one. So basically this tidies up your Facebook page. As you can see at the top left of the screen, you've got an on off switch. You can disable this and it'll go back to normal. But I think it just makes it look a bit more streamlined and a bit more nicer to look at. A bit more nicer. No, it doesn't really make sense. A lot nicer to look at. If you make YouTube videos or have a small YouTube account, medium YouTube account or a large YouTube account, you're going to want to check out TubeBuddy. Basically what this does, it allows you to see in-depth analytics of your title. That was a mouthful to say. It allows you to see SEO rankings. It allows you to see suggested keywords. It allows you to see an in-depth review of comments. It just makes YouTube a friendlier and more efficient place because we know with YouTube by this time next week, it could all be different. All the web page could be different. All of the options that you currently are used to could be different. So this TubeBuddy will just add a bit of consistency into your YouTube experience. So take this video, for example. If I go to the bottom and click on these links here, description, stats, tags, and tools, it gives me a wide variety of things to try out, such as annotations. You can copy them from video to video easily. You can track who shared the video on what social media platform, and you can see if your keywords within your title are recommended in terms of appearing in search engines and therefore generating more views and ultimately increasing your channel exposure. The Great Suspender is up next. Say if you've got loads of Chrome tabs open that are all taking up resource, simply click on this, change the settings to suspend the tab after a certain time frame. For this example, we're going to use 20 seconds, just obviously for the example. And then when you're working away on a website or watching YouTube videos, not paying attention to the other tabs, which are obviously taking up resource and slowing your PC down maybe, depending on how old your PC is, this will just make life a little bit easier and less harm and stress on your machine. So there you go, I'm just changing it to 20 seconds. I'm going down and pressing save. Now we're just gonna quickly fast forward 20 seconds, three, two, one. Now we check the tabs and look, there you go, tab suspended. These aren't loading, they aren't running any scripts in the background. And to reload it, you just simply click on it. And there we have it. That's all there is to the great suspender. And last but by no means least, Chrome Remote Desktop. If you've ever used a remote session tool such as Team Viewer, Log Me In, Join Me, any of those, this is basically the same thing. So what you do for those that aren't informed, you install this application and then you can either take somebody's code who also has this application, type it in there, press connect, and you'll be able to remotely control their machine. And vice versa, if you press cancel and go share, you can see the access code here. Obviously I've blanked mine out because I'm not sure if you'll be able to use it in remote onto mine and installed all sorts of stuff on there, but hey. So you give them this number and then they can log onto your machine, show you how to do something, you know. I find this useful if you're trying to guide somebody, like a tutorial, say, oh, can you just show me how to um, load this up in this application? You can just jump on the machine, say, yep, click here, click there, click there it's so much easier to show someone how to do something rather than try to explain it to them. So in summary, we have OneTab, Facebook Flat, TubeBuddy, The Great Suspender, and Chrome Remote Desktop. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. All links are in the description as well, so if you ever want to go, actually, I want to try out TubeBuddy, visit the description. All links are there. Thanks for watching.